Howdy folks, today I have some kits, these are come from Japan, I've had to specially order these because I can't get these in the UK, let's take a look what we get in the box. Okay, we take a look what we got in this box. We have this kit, Japanese 135 scale, 25mm Type 69 any aircraft gun that goes on aircraft carriers and stuff. We have this resin kit from MK 135 scale 4 inch 50 caliber naval gun I have this kit from Tacom 135 scale Russian Navy I'm not quite sure how you pronounce this but it's a uh, Aircraft def uh, ship defence, basically like a SAM site, but on on the on the ship that fires missiles. I have this one, a C RAM. Again, this is 135 scale. This is for the U.S. Navy. Again, this is the uh, U.S. version of a SAM site that goes on their ships, the defender ships, so this will fire rockets. And I have this Pegasus or Phoenix. I, um, this is the uh, defense weapon for the US Navy, 135 scale, like machine gun. Uh, it has um, that's the dimensions of the of the real kit, but I know for something like the the real um, machine gun, can fire over a thousand rounds per second or something stupid. It's like a massive Gatling gun, and it's got a massive rate of fire, and it can herd a lot of lead down range. So I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. And this massive piece, again, by Tacom, 135 scale, AK-130, Russian Navy, 130mm armament naval gun. So this is one of their main guns that goes on the Russian Navy. This kit is huge inside, so we're going to be taking a look at all of these kits. But first we're going to be taking a look at this AK-130 anti-aircraft. Uh, not in Jaircraft, but naval gun, sorry. So we're going to be taking a look at this one first. So you are greeted by this giant box, nice CAD work or artwork I should say uh, on the front. The uh, kit number probably or item number is uh, 2129, like I say it's 135 scale by Tacom. Here's one of the potential colours you can do yours in. Um, I have seen on real photographs just plain grey ones without the red stripe. But I'm going to be doing mine with the red stripe. Um, again, same with little box art. The kit was released this club coming a couple of days ago. So literally, the kit's brand spanking new for this month as well, for this year as well. So the kit's only just been released. Here's your sprue map. So as I say, very minimal parts, but highly detailed. Um, so there's your base. 
the uh, this ring goes on top of here. These are the side skirts that go around the circle. These are the turrets. This is like a giant dome. All of this is casted as one mould. So how they managed to pull this off, I don't know, but they did. You've got your barrels. Unfortunately, these are two piece. But a little bit of clean up should be no problems. So let's take a look at the in the box. So we are greeted with the upper dome of the gun. Like I say, there's your base. And we go through these parts quickly. So this is cast as one giant piece. Obviously you've got your ejection pins and all your bad bits inside, but you're not going to see any of that. But it's highly detailed. You've got a mixture of raised and recessed panel lines. All of these holes are for ladders and fire fixtures and stuff. You're going to have a door goes on here, another hind of hatch, some kind of thing that goes on the back here. So all these holes are pre-pre-drilled out for you, which is nicely done. Um, you're going to have something that goes up the top here. The only piece you're going to have to cut out is this. But again, it's nicely done. It's quite flexible. Here's your giant base of the gun. So you'd be displaying it down the bottom like this. All you've got to clean up is these pins. And that's it. Like I say, there's your information um, but molded as one piece yeah. in this bag we will have <coughs> two identical sprues which contains your guns and some support housing and some ladders and stuff so here's your cannons type thing. Like I say, they are two two uh, two pieces, so you have to put them together. A little bit of clean up should be no problems. You've got some wiring or hosing. These are curvy up curved parts are for structural parts, and these are all the handles and ladder parts and here not to know what the real term is for this but I'm going to call it like the main gun mantlet type thing and um, so your two guns will be sticking out of here these two pieces are part of the uh, structural walls that go around the base which is um, the bit that you're going to have to mask off the red section unfortunately you've got some ejection pins but I think they'll be facing on the inside so a little bit of clean up is going to be required I wish they didn't do that but unfortunately you have another structural part I'm not sure what these two are but Again, some hosing. Looks like these are parts of the gun as well. We have this giant sprue. One of your hatches. This is the base of where the gun goes so this will be sitting on top of the other base so there's your main base and this piece will be sitting on there and this is the bit that's going to do the rotation and again you've got all your fine detail ladder parts wiring and hoses by the looks of things 
So careful when taking these off the uh, points, you don't snap this. Um, and some more looks like boarding ladders and stuff. Um, but like I say, all the ejection pins should be on the inside, so you're not going to see this. Um, yeah, so there's that sprue. We have this bag, it contains things like the side walls of the gun and the rotating mechanism. Again, giant cast pieces, nicely detailed with some rivets and bolts. And you've got your um, airtight lock type doors that they have on naval ships. Watertight doors, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, Again, we've got some more of these structural walls. Again, unfortunately, you've got ejection pins on the inside. Um, so it's going to require a little bit of cleanup, probably. Um, some round hatches, another structural part. This looks like some kind of framing as well for the two guns. Not sure these two are. And then you've got like these hydraulic arms as well. Here and here, one's a screw and one's looks like a piston. You do get a tiny bit of fellow witch and some basic decals that go on the front of the gun. So we're going to take a look at the instructions now. Like I say. Here's a tiny bit of fellow witch. I'm not quite sure what this is for, but we will find out in a second. Here's your decals, just two stars and some kind of, um, I don't know what you really want to call that. You get a tiny bit of clear as well, which again I'm not sure what that's going to be for. I say the manual, nicely done, nice paper. Um, you start off with some helpful tips and stuff and your sprue map like it was on the box your first step is prepping and cleaning up the base and then attaching those walls and putting those structural parts in and then it starts on the actual frame of the gun as well so you've got your base needs to clean up and and side walls sandwiching it all together there's like the gun mantle type section i was talking about putting that onto your, your base there's those triangle pieces they are snug fits around the uh, gun mantle And you've got your upper dome, which contains all the uh, hatches and boarding ladders and wiring and stuff. There's probably about 13, 14 steps, I think. 14 steps in total, so it's going to be a quite a quick build. It's uh, all going to be down to your painting and stuff. So again, there's your wiring and it looks like boarding ladders all over. And then your two main guns. They've got the hose going down one side, attaching your, your two guns, and attaching your gun to your base. And then we are looking at a nice colour. We have got a lighter grey, naval grey one, and a little bit darker. Um, they are using Ming paints, so you have to do your reference. So this one here is is silver grey with a red stripe and can't pronounce that, but it's a, it's some kind of white. Um, and this one here is 
medium gunship grey uh, with the red stripe and the white. Um, oh, I like the darker one than I do the lighter version. Um, that's just me and my preference. And that's it. So there you go guys, there's the 135 scale kit from TACOM, the AK-130 naval gun. Uh, check out the upcoming videos for the other weapons for the Navy. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you later.